Hi there, this is Julie Larson with CloudBloomers.com and in this video I'm going to share something with you that I was talking about with a friend uh, a couple weeks ago over lunch. So in this picture here I've got my friend Elizabeth Hopwood and Elizabeth is a distributor for Rodan and Fields and it's a dermatology company that has fabulous skincare products. And so we were talking about how um, it's always fun to see before and after pictures like when somebody loses weight you see the before and after pictures or when, a, when you do a remodel on a home the before and after pictures and it's just always cool to see the before and after so I was sharing with her how we could do that in one image make it like a little collage have the before and after so she could start putting those up on um, Facebook or you know on a blog post or wherever so Elizabeth sent me over a couple before and after pictures today and we're gonna put those up and first of all um, I've already downloaded each of the images to my computer I think they might be a little bit large so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take you over to pickmonkey.com and with pickmonkey uh, it's free except for the collage one you're gonna have to upgrade for that one it's thirty three dollars a year in my case it is worth every cent because there's just so many cool fun things that you can do with PicMonkey uh, there's also a free way that you can make this collage as well and you can do that if you've got PowerPoint so first of all um, you can resize and crop pictures in PicMonkey for free and I've got another video showing how to do that but I'm going to go grab one of the pictures she sent over and what I do is I hover over this where it says edit a photo I'm going to click on there and here is the before picture it loads it up there and then I'm going to click on resize and we're going to see that it is rather large in pixels it's uh, over 2300 pixels so I'm going to make that about 300 alright and then I'm gonna click apply and um, I could save it at that point but let me go ahead and show you how you can add just uh, and you can do this still free in PicMonkey they have a lot of free things that you can do but I'm gonna click over here and add a little text so over the P I'm gonna put um, click on add text and I'm gonna use uh, Arial okay and see this pops up here and I want to just have it if I click over here and this is before and then I want to center that and I don't know if I'll just leave it black or whatever let's see how that looks okay so that's the before I'm going to drag it down just a little bit Oops, didn't mean to, there. Maybe I'll move it over here. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to save that. And I'm going to save that as Elizabeth before. And I like to put the size in so I know when I pull it off my computer which one to choose. And I'm going to save it as a PNG file. Okay, and I'll save it to my desktop and that one is finished now let me come back over and come over to pickmonkey.com again start fresh click over the edit a photo and go find the after picture right here and her her skin is like glowing on on this one so this is four months after um, the the uh, washing with the product from Rodan and Fields. So let me resize this one again to 300. Apply. And then I want to add the text. So I'm going to click on the P, add text, and I'm going to use the Arial again and put after. Center that and drag it over here 
Okay, so now I've got those two images and they're both 300 by 400. Whoops, I gotta save that one. 300 by 400. And you can save it as a JPEG or a PNG file, whatever you want. So I'm gonna click on Save Photo, save it to my desk. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you two different ways. I'll show you the free way, which is with PowerPoint. And I've got PowerPoint already here. And I can come over to my uh, desktop and grab the grab the before image, copy it, and then put it on my PowerPoint, paste it, and then just drag it over, and then do the same thing with the after. Right click copy, and then right click paste, okay, and put those side by side, maybe leave a little space, I don't know. All right, and then I have a free tool called Jing, J-I-N-G, and I'll put the link in my blog post. But see this little sunshine up here? It kind of hangs out at the top of my monitor. And so Jing will give me a screen capture or screenshot. So I can click over here on the left on the capture, and then I can just kind of crop the image or, or capture okay and then click save and then I can label it uh, Elizabeth and I'm gonna put Jing on this one and save it and it saves to my desktop okay or I can do the one where I do it through PicMonkey which is my favorite I love PicMonkey and it's it's thirty three dollars a year. I'm sure you can find things that are cheaper out there that to do the same sort of stuff. But um, again, it's got all these kind of cool features. So let me start over fresh with PicMonkey.com. And instead of editing a photo, I'm going to come over here and create a collage. So I'm going to click on there, and it's going to let me do the same thing where I can grab my pictures. So I'm going to click over to the left, open photos, and I'm going to grab the two, the after, and then I'm going to come back and get the before. All right. And then over here on the left, I've got layouts. So, oh, let me go back to, I'm sorry, let me come back over here. Okay, so. I can actually just, I, I want them side by side. I could have them on top of each other, but I want them side by side. So I'm going to click off, get rid of one of those, and now I've got two uh, columns side by side. And then I want to change them to be, since my images are 300 pixels in width, I want this to be 300 by, or excuse, 600, because there's two of them, 600 by 400 in height. So I'm going to unlock this little thing here and make them, um, maybe I'm going to make them actually 610. Um, so I've got a little bit of uh, space. 610 by 400 in height. Okay, so now that I've done that, I'm going to come over here, grab the before and I've got it labeled before and I'm gonna grab the after and I've got it labeled after and I can stop right there or I can go on and um, have a little bit of fun here okay so this is this tool is gonna be the background so I can make a colored background okay no not not that color <laughs> okay well, anyway, you get the idea. So I'll just make that. All right, so I can have, see how the corners, I can create the corner rounding, or I can have it square. Let's round it just a little bit. And then I can make the spacing either 
wider or narrower. Just have a narrow border around there. Okay, and there's some other fun stuff that you can do as well. But this is all I wanted to show you for now. So I'm going to click on Save and then label this Elizabeth. Collage. And it tells me that it's 610 by 400. So I'm going to put that, save it as a PNG file. And then it's saved to my desktop. And there you have it. Okay. Hope that was helpful. Thank you. Bye-bye.